We're here with Cal basketball coach Wyking Jones. How you doing, coach? I'm doing great. So welcome to Berkeley. You've been around for a bit over a month or so, but how have things been going for you in your your initial Everything's first weeks? Everything's been great. I mean, from day one, uh, the first day I walked in this office, I, I felt completely comfortable, uh, and and that, and that's a credit to the coaching staff. You know, Tracy Webster, Coach Coach Martin, Coach Yanni, uh, Marco, uh, Nick Demas. All those guys are great guys, and um, you know, from day one, I, I felt very comfortable uh, in the office working with those guys. They're all hard workers. Uh, we all have the same agenda, which is which is you know ultimately for the program to be successful. We're all doing our part, and um, everybody comes to the office every day, working hard and, and just trying to make sure that we can we can get the most out of out of the talent that we have, and. Um, just hoping for a great season. Looking at the, the program in the past year, it looks like um, Conzo has really built a nice culture here, both from a, a coaching standpoint and from the, the the roster of players. It really seems like sort of a family atmosphere. Is that what you're you're getting? Yeah, absolutely, and, and and that's what I speak ab about when I say that just feeling comfortable. You know, you, you walk in here and you just feel the energy in this place is just one of, of every. It's a brotherhood. Like everybody's got each other's back. And um, it's very much a family atmosphere. My son comes here. He, he's he's in a in a program um, here on campus, uh, kind of a prep program for for high school. And you know he's in here every day. You know, hanging out, doing homework. Uh, we work out a little bit. You know, uh, Coach Martin's son Chase is in here pretty much every day. So it's a very very family oriented uh, feel around here. And um, you know, it's wonderful. It's an interesting contrast because a lot of staffs that work as hard as this staff works, mm -hmm. it's sort of a, a level of intensity that's almost crushing sometimes. Mm -hmm. But yet, it's not when you're in the offices here. I mean, in, a, we, in the court together. It doesn't yeah, seem like that have, at all. We have a nice blend of, of working hard, really getting after it, um, you know, pushing ourselves and, and, and pushing our players. But at the same time, you know, we, we all know how to have a good time. You know, we joke, we laugh, um, we clown on each other, and uh, you know, it's you gotta have, you gotta have. At the end of the day, it's basketball. You know, it's not cure for cancer. It's not rocket science. It's 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 basketball. And so, at the end of the day, um, we we all understand that. And so, when we come to the office, it doesn't have to be serious all the time. You know, we know how to have a good time. We know how to keep it light. When you get out on the court, you know that now it's business time. It's time to really get after it, push each other, push our players, get the most out of out of everybody's abilities, uh, us, us as coaches, uh, as well as the players. And um, it's just a great blend of, of of both, working hard, getting after it, but at the same time, you know, keeping it light, and having fun, and enjoying each other. So you grew up in LA, played um, basketball at Loyal Marymount. Mm -hmm. um, a little grad coaching there, went over to New Mexico a couple years, and then to Louisville. So you, mm -hmm. um, in between, you had the chance to play overseas. So it's been basketball, basketball your whole life. But it's been basketball my whole life. <laughs> now you kind of get a chance to, to get back to your, your roots here. A lot of people were wondering, you know, Louisville's a great situation, mm -hmm. you know, a real successful traditional program. Mm -hmm. um, your roots are here in California. What else brought you back? I mean, just, just that, just family, um, you know. My mom's 61 years old. You know, I didn't get a chance to really see her a lot when I was when I was at Louisville. So, um, and, and I just felt like, you know, with with coach with Coach Martin being here, I knew that he would turn this thing around. So yeah, my decision to to, to, to make the move here here west and, and, and come be a part of the staff uh, had everything to do with family and just you know coming back closer to home and. and you know, my four years at, at Louisville, my two years at New Mexico was, was awesome. You know, I had a great time, learned a ton, uh, you know, had some great experiences. Obviously, you know, winning a national championship and going to Final Fours and working for a Hall of Fame coach and Rick Pitino. But at the end of the day, you know, I just, I just felt like this was a great opportunity. Um, I felt like Coach Martin was going to do a great job here. And uh, I wanted to be a part of it. You know, and I wanted to be able to bring my family back closer to home and my wife be back in the city where she was born and raised and me be closer to, to, to Southern California where I was born and raised and be near my mom and, 
and family, and it just felt like the right thing to do. Felt like the right, the right move at the right time. And um, you know, I'm just very happy about the decision. You know, and, and I think that I think that we're gonna have a great season. So you are are known as a, a guy who's um, one of the more solid recruiters out there. What's it like coming into a staff where everybody works just all out all the time on the recruiting aspect? Well. I, Every staff that I was on before this, it was the same. You know, at, at Louisville, you know, everybody everybody worked hard and, and really got after it. Um, at at New Mexico, same thing. You know, so w once you get to this level, it's kind of it's kind of like that with with, with with everyone's staff. Everybody's everybody's working hard. You know, Every, you know, for you to get to for any any coach to get to this level, you will have had to go through the ranks. And, and, and build a reputation for yourself uh, to, to get to, to a high major level like this. And so everybody gets after it. Everybody works hard. Um, you know, this isn't, this isn't any different than, than uh, any of the other stops that I've, I've made in the last couple of years. Uh, you know, but this, but this staff to me um, feels, feels very connected. You know, we all have each other's back. Um, and that comes from that comes from from Coach Martin. You know that comes from him. He he, he picked the right guys, and um, you know there's a brotherhood here. You know everything that we do, we do as a collective group, and um, there isn't any personal agendas. You know we're just we're just all here to work and and, and for the for the betterment and the success of the, of the entire program. Yeah. Do you sometimes look at each other as a group and and say uh, we're all going to be head coaches at some point? That's the goal. That is absolutely the goal. I mean, I think that if you're in this business and you don't want to be a head coach, you know, at this level, you know, I think that there's something, something, something wrong. You know, we, we should all want to be head coaches. We should all strive for that. Just like our players should all have the ambitions of, of playing professional basketball. You know, they, they should want to continue their career after they leave here in, in some capacity. Everybody's not going to make it to the NBA, but you should want to play play basketball overseas professionally or in the, in the NBDL. Um, you should absolutely want to continue to play basketball and make it a career. So our players should be thinking along those lines, and, and, and us as assistants, you, you should be working your tail off to ultimately have your own program. You know, I, I just think that that's, it, it goes hand in hand. There has to be an end goal, and the end goal should be, I want my own program. I want to learn. I want to work. I want to do everything that it takes to, to achieve that goal. And that's, you know, that's Coach Webster's goal. That's Coach Huffnagel's goal. You know, that's my goal. So um, I think that at this level, most assistants are working, working to be a head coach. So you're walking into a real interesting situation at Cal. Um, in some ways, the the staff was working with one hand tied behind their back last year with with uh, Cameron Rooks on the shelf for a year, um, and with um, Stephen Domingo having to sit out the transfer year, and uh, just not a lot of roster depth out there. And now it's a totally different situation. Those guys are a part of the mix. You're bringing in two top 10 recruits like Ivan Rabb and Jalen Brown, bringing in Tyson Jolly too. Mm -hmm. I mean, depth, athleticism, talent at each of the positions. What are your thoughts looking, looking into that situation? Well, we have, we have all the pieces to be really good. Um, we have the, the, the depth at, at every position. Um, you could go a bunch of different ways with, with the starting lineup. Nobody knows you know, what, what direction Coach Martin is going to go in because there's a lot of options. You know, you could go big, you could go small, you could go quick, you could go, you know, traditional. You, you know, we have the pieces to, to be able to be creative in that aspect. And that's a wonderful, wonderful problem to have. And, you know, we all feel like it could be a great season. You know, it, it's just at this point it's time to, it's time to put in the work. You know, it's time to put in the hours. It's time to put in the sweat, and um, and make it a reality. So you literally just had your first opportunity to get on the court with with the new guys. Um, mm -hmm. What are your thoughts initially, taking a look at at, at Jalen and Ivan and, and Tyson? <sighs> Big time upside. 
big time upside. They both the thing that the thing that I loved about working them out this morning is that they're both very humble kids. You know, they don't they don't walk in here, you know, you know, feeling like I'm 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 a McDonald's All American, so I should be treated a different way. I should be coached a different way. Absolutely not. You know, they both walk walked into that workout this morning wanting to get better, wanting to learn, working their tail off, wanting to be coached. You know, if it, if, you know, there's a couple times Ivan and Jalen both they didn't do something the right way. We corrected them. You know, and their demeanor was oh, okay, okay, and they, and they did their best to to do it the right way the next rep. And that's what you want. That's all you want. You just want a guy that comes in, he's hungry, he's humble, wants to get better, wants to put in the work, wants to work hard. And um, both of those guys bring that. And so the sky's the limit to how good those two can be. Um, you know, but, but you know, the, those two, they're going to get a lot of, um, a lot of attention. But, but we, we, got some, we got some really good guys that are coming back as well, you know. Tyrone right now is, is at the Nike Nike Academy in Los Angeles with the top college players in the country. And uh, I'm sure he's doing a great job. And, you know, we, we, we've got some, some, some guys that are coming back. You mentioned Steven Domingo, you know, Jordan, Matthews, Jabari Bird. Um, we've got some, we have some really good pieces coming back. And so, you know, it's exciting times. So you're just a little more than a, a month away from taking the – the operation overseas to Australia. What do you see that doing for the the team? It'll it'll help us start the process of, of, of building chemistry. Uh, you know, you can't you can practice as you know all day, but game game time situations is when you really figure out who 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 really knows how to play. You know, who really knows how to execute when the when the when the stakes are higher, a little bit higher than practice. And so it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see, you know, who steps up, you know, who steps up, you know, who 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 rises to the occasion, you know, in game situations against against competition other than your teammates, you know, because at the end of the day, throughout the season, that's what's going to matter the most. Who can who can who plays well in games, you know? I've, I've coached guys that are that have been great in practice, but when the lights come on, they haven't been able to bring it. And so it's going to be good to see, um, you know, who, who can bring it in games. You know, who can who can really bring it when it, when it matters the most. Well, ticket sales are up. Fan anticipation is high. Everybody's really interested to see what um, what this all is going to come together and be this year. So, good luck um, getting ready for this season and getting ready for this trip. And and uh, looking forward to a great season. Thank you. Appreciate it.